So coming to the top of your mat in Tadasana, respecting the natural curve of the spine, the hands together in prayer position and the gaze slightly forward and down. Taking some deep breaths, bringing Ujjayi into the body. And when you're ready, inhale, sweeping the arms out and up, stretch and look up. Exhale, swan diving down to the floor and then bring the hands to the shins and inhale and halfway lift, rolling the shoulders back and down. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, step the right foot back and exhale, drop the knee to the floor. Inhale, rise up, take the arms out and up, stretch and look up. And exhale, bring the hands down through third eye, the heart to frame the left foot. Inhale, lift the back knee. Exhale, come to plank and just spend a breath in plank, pressing the heels back and the shoulders forward. Exhale, as you slowly come to the floor. Now stretch out one leg at a time behind you and then come into a sphinx pose with your elbows underneath your shoulders, rolling your shoulders back, sliding the shoulder blades back down the back, bringing the throat back. Gaze looking forward to the fingers, lengthening and extending the spine. And then take the elbows out to the sides and plant the forehead on the hands. Then hands under the shoulders, tuck toes, come up onto the knees and up into downward facing dog. And have a lovely stretch out here, lifting the sitting bones up towards the sky, taking some lovely deep breaths. Inhale, right foot between the hands. Exhale, bringing the left foot forward, planting the left heel. Inhale, rising up to warrior one. Pressing on the back heel, lifting the chest, looking forward, drawing the throat back. Right knee above the right ankle. And then straightening both legs, bring the hands on the hips, squeezing the elbows and shoulder blades back. Hinging from the hips, reaching the chest forward, lowering the spine in relation to the floor, and then bend the front leg, plant the fingertips forward of that right foot and lift the back leg, inhale, and then exhale, fold into that right leg, and then inhale, take the chest away, exhale, fold into a ball. Inhale, halfway lift, lift, legs straight, spine straight. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, taking the arms wide, coming all the way back to standing. And exhale, hands through third eye to heart center. And then inhale, we go again, stretching out and up. And exhale, swan dive down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the shins, rolling the shoulder blades back. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, knee drops to the floor, pressing on the front foot. Inhale and rise up, lifting the arms up. And then exhale, plant the hands either side of the foot. Inhale, lift the back knee. Exhale to plank with the feet apart. Play with rolling onto the outer edge of one foot, inner edge of the other. And go to the other side as you breathe deeply. And then inhale in plank, exhale, lowering slowly down, stretching one leg back behind you at a time. Spider fingers off the mat, thumbs pointing back, fingers pointing forwards. Inhale, you rise up. Exhale, you gently come down. Inhale, rise, rolling shoulders down the back. Exhale, come down. Inhale, slowly lift. Exhale, gently coming back. And then plant the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes under. Inhale to the knees and exhale to down dog. Adjust your foot position if you need to. Take some really deep breaths, lifting the hips up to the sky, shaking out any tension from the head. And then inhale, left foot forward. Exhaling, bring the right foot slightly forward and cupping the heel to the floor. Rise up to warrior one. Dropping the hips down, left knee over left ankle, back heel pressing down, chest lifted, throat back. Inhale, and then exhale, bring the hands to the hips and straighten that front leg. Inhale again, lengthen out of the hips, 
and exhale as you slowly lower the back, squeezing elbows and shoulder blades towards each other. And then bend that left leg, hands planting to the floor, lifting the right foot, inhale, and then exhale, fold into that left leg. Inhale again, lifting the spine, bringing the right foot back, hugging the knees, and then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, taking the arms out and up, coming all the way up, and exhale, hands through the third eye to heart center. Inhale, off we go again. Exhale, swan dive down for number three. Inhale, halfway lift, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, take the right foot back. Exhale, drop the knee to the floor. Inhale, you're going to wiggle the left foot to the left and bring the hands inside the left foot. Then lift the back knee, stretch heel away from crown of the head. And if it's comfortable for you, you can come down onto the elbows, elbows under the shoulders. Or you can bring the elbows onto blocks. You can bring the hands to the blocks, just feel the stretch here, then come back. Hands either side of the foot, come into plank pose with the feet together. Now you can play with rolling onto the outer edge of one foot with the top foot resting on top. Just go to either side, inhale and exhale to the floor. Stretching one leg back at a time, preparing for your back bend, which is Salabhasana, locust pose. Rolling the shoulder blades towards each other and down the back, shoulders away from the ears, lifting the feet. Then coming down, play, placing hands under the shoulders, Having a full breath to get to downward facing dog. And a few breaths to rest. You can always take child pose here. And join us in dog pose when it's time to drop the knees to the floor. And bring the right knee onto the outside of the right wrist. Scooping the right foot forward. And wriggling that left foot back. To come down for pigeon pose with the hips even you can always lift up that right hip if you want to come down onto your hands you can or you can supine stretching the hands forward just taking some deep breaths there enjoying that big stretch you don't have to go so low if there's any problem with the knee or the hip you can stay further up and take the hands under the shoulders, rise up, wriggle the shoulders back and down. And then planting the hands, tucking the back toes, lifting up into three-legged dog, taking that right foot high. And then resting in downward dog for a moment. And stepping the feet forward and halfway lift, inhale. And folding forward, exhale. Inhale, rise up, lift the hands up and exhale, hands through third eye into the heart space. Last one, inhale, arms out and up, stretch and look up. Exhale, swan dive to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Exhale, drop the back knee. Taking the right foot wide and the hands inside the foot and then lifting the back knee, having some breaths here. Maybe coming down onto forearms as you rest and breathe into sensations, pressing the back heel back and the crown of the head forward. Come back on the hands now with the foot in between the hands and come to plank. And now's your chance to try Full on plank, so pressing into the bottom hand, lifting the hips high, coming into side plank on the other side, pressing the hips up, lifting the top hand up, taking a breath each side, coming back to plank and slowly lowering down, stretching one leg at a time back behind you again. And the final back bend is Dhanurasana bow pose. We're gonna flex the feet, so we're not gonna come up very high, Flexing the feet, pulling the heels away from the bottom, raising the chest, keeping the throat back, taking a few breaths, and then coming into down dog, tucking the toes under. You can have a resting child here. And 
resting the neck, dropping to the knees and bringing the left knee on the outside of the left wrist, wriggling that left foot forward, lifting the back knee and taking the back leg back as far as you can so that you can gently lower the hips, come onto forearms or you can stay on the hands. You can also take the elbows out to the side and plant the forehead on the, on the hands. You might need support under the hip or under the back knee and that's fine. You might be able to stretch the hands out in front of you, come to full supine, but just keep breathing. Bring the hands under the shoulders, spider fingers, pressing up, rolling the shoulders back and down, taking the throat back. Inhale, and then plant the hands and exhale, taking the leg up, the left leg up into three-legged dog, and then pressing into four-legged dog, and bringing the left foot and the right foot forward, and inhaling halfway lift, exhaling fold. And inhale, take the arms out and up, stretch and look up. And then exhale, bring the hands through third eye, back to heart center. Close the eyes and take some deep breaths in Ujjayi. Energize and ready for anything. <laughs>